Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the HSE Incident Trend Analysis. We'll start by hiding the top ribbon to have more space. Great. First, let's go into the settings page. This is where you can enter parameters to set up the tool. We can first select our language and specify wording for data lists, like gender, gravity, and type of injury. Moving on to the translation tab. This is where we have three standard languages, English, French, and Portuguese, and have the ability to set up a fourth language. Let's go into the roles tab. This is where we list all the employees' roles. Let's add a new one. Great. Finally, the department subsection, where we enter the list of all companies' departments. Let's add a new one again. Awesome. Moving on to the database section. This is our main data input section and it allows us to enter the list of all incidents. Let's add a new record together. We'll enter our employee's name and his details. We'll indicate his hire date and see that the company time auto calculates. We'll indicate his gender, his role, his department, and indicate the incident's name and some more detail. We'll leave this blank for the sake of this exercise. Next, we have the accident date and the status. We can also indicate a return date if known. We'll leave this blank. As you can see, the days away auto calculate based on the return date and the date of the incident. We can indicate a cost, select a type of injury, indicate where the injury happened, select the moment it happened, and finally, the gravity. Great, we're now ready to look at the results. We'll start with the accident report. Let's first hit the refresh button to ensure the latest data is being shown. Awesome. The slicers, or filters, allow you to visualize a specific group of accident based on different factors. You can select a year, or a specific month. You can also choose to visualize a specific gravity or gender or status. We can also choose to report on a specific moment, either during work hours or outside. Visualize only incident that happened to a specific role. Or department. And finally, you can choose to visualize only specific type of injuries. Looking at the dashboard itself now. The header indicates main KPIs, 
we have the total number of accidents, the number of accidents with leave, the number of accidents without leave, the number of days without accident, and the number of days away on average. Further down, we have a couple of ratio charts indicating the percent of accidents with leave and percent of accidents during work hours. Besides that, we have the number of accidents by gender, by gravity, and by type of injury. And finally, below that, we have the number of accidents by role and by departments. Moving on to the costs dashboard. Once again, we have the refresh button, which we've already clicked, so no need to refresh again, and the slicers. Similarly to the accident dashboard, we have a breakdown of costs by different factors. We have the percentage of accidents cost with leave, and the ones during office hours. We have the costs by gender, by gravity, by type of injuries, by role, by departments, etc. Let's go to the body injury dashboard. This dashboard can also be filtered by a series of slicers. And summarizes accident by body parts and visualizes it in a drawing. Finally, the monthly report. This is a table that indicates the total number of incidents, their total associated costs and average cost for incidents with leave and ones without. All of this per month. Further down, a bar chart indicates the number of incidents with and without leave per month. And finally, a donor chart indicating the percentage of incidents with and without leave. The same charts are then displaying the data by total cost and average cost. And that's it. You know everything you need to know about our HSE incident trend analysis, and you're ready to start using it now. Enjoy!